hey everyone so today we have another problem and the name of the problem is contagious array and it's a medium level difficulty problem so let us state uh, but let us see what the problem states given a binary array find the maximum length of a contagious subarray with equal number of 1 and 0 okay so pretty simple to understand we just need to find the maximum length of subarray that are inside an array and that contains equal number of 0 and 1 okay so input uh, you can see that example in example 1 see the input 0 and 1 so the output of this case must be 2 so the explanation part 0 and 1 is the longest contagious subarray as it contains equal number of 0 and 1 okay uh, let us see the example 2 also 0 1 0 and the output is 2 because 0 1 or 1 0 you can see this is a sub a contagious sub array and also this is also a contagious sub array so both of their lengths are 2 only so doesn't matter what you return so the output is 2 okay okay so how are we going to solve this okay like it is one of my favorite questions because you know uh, it is not at all uh, that easy to solve but it is easy to understand and that is the favorite part about good problems you know problems should be like this only that you are able to understand what you have to do but uh, what takes your time is the thinking part and this is the proper example of such problem it is very easy to understand just a single line they have written but for the problem part you know for solving it you need to understand it uh, you need to find the solution very deeply okay you need to think of it because suppose I take an example like this like this suppose we have this example so if you uh, think of iterating it and then doing some operations then how are we going to identify suppose we encounter a zero okay so and again we encounter a zero so how am i going to decide that whether on moving forward there will be a contagious sub array or not so that is the thinking part okay and it's a good problem you must see it so let us uh, jump on to the solution part and i'll tell you how are we going to solve it so here is how we are going to solve this problem suppose we are given this array this binary array okay so i have taken a variable count and i have initialized it to the value zero and here is our variable length that will be our answer and uh, just a second uh, and here is this graph that will represent the value of count okay uh, and the x-axis here is index so I, how this graph will exist in this coding world that is through this hash map okay that is why I have initialized a hash map also I will be using a hash map okay so uh, let us start iterating through the array okay before iterating through the array right now the value of count is 0 okay so I will enter the value of count in the hash map the value of count is 0 and the index is minus 1 suppose we haven't started iterating okay so the first element uh, that is in the array is 1 so I have written it here that uh, when we encounter 1 we increment the value of count so incrementing the value of count make it 1 ok and show it in the graph when the index is 0 for 0 index the value is 1 of count ok so here the value is 1 and also the value of count is 1 here so count value is 1 and the index is 0 ok uh, the next element in the array is 0 so when we encounter 0 we decrement the value of count on decrementing the value of count the count is 0 now ok and also here decrement the value of count and now you can see that when uh, here already uh, the 0 count is uh, is there ok so whenever such cases arises what we will do then we will initialize our length the answer part okay so 
whenever it is the case that uh, the count already exists in the hash map what we will do uh, we will uh, you know, enter the value in length and that will be the current index minus the previous index ok so the current index is uh, 0 the current index that we encounter is 1 ok here you can also the, uh, see the current index is 1 so the current index is 1 and the previous index that was mentioned here it was minus 1 you can see so minus of minus 1 that is 2 so it will be entered in length ok so the length is our answer what we will return ok so the value is 2 so we have uh, come till here the next element is 0 ok and whenever we encounter 0 we decrement the value of count so decrement it make it minus 1 and since minus 1 is unique and it is not present in the hash map we will en enter minus 1 and the index is 2 ok and also here I will show as minus 1 uh, in counts uh, value is minus 1 so here we will show on the graph minus 1 ok so the current uh, value of count is minus 1 so similarly the next value is 1 so whenever we encounter 1 we increment the value of count so incrementing the value of count so minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so and also here increment the value of count now you can see that 0 already exists so what we have to do current value minus previous uh, current index minus previous index so now the current index is 3 the previous index of the 0 as written in here is minus 1 so 3 minus of minus 1 and that is equals to 4 since 4 is greater than our current value 2 of length so we will uh, assign the value 4 to the length and now the uh, array is com uh, we have iterated through the array and the value of length is 4 so 4 is an answer as you can also see this whole array the sub array contiguous sub array is this only the whole array so uh, also you can see in this graph that we have started from 0 and we ended on 0 so uh, on the by looking at the graph also you can tell that the whole array is the solution okay so you must be thinking that why i have taken this hash map okay so there exist a more case like if you ask do we always have to look for the value zero no it is not the case let us take another example and this will be clear okay so this time we have this example okay a bigger one and uh, let us start solving this so initially the value of count is 0 okay and the index is minus 1 okay let me just first simply uh, show it on the graph these values okay so first of all i'll plot it in on the graph first okay so three ones we have so we will increment the value of count three times okay and after that you can see we have a zero so we will decrement the value of count and then we have a one okay we have a one and then we have two zero straight so on iterating the array uh, this is our graph so in this case you can see that we have started from zero this is zero we have started from zero and uh, when we ended up iterating the array the end value is not zero so you might think that uh, there is no solution or something like that but it is not the case see if you see that if you consider this array okay you can see that it is starting from 1 and it is ending on 1 so that is the case we don't have to look for 0 we have to look for any number of any number that is repeating okay the count value of uh, the count value is repeating here and the value here is 1 so we have to look for any number that is repeating we don't always have to look for 0 and that is our case you look at here it is starting from 1 and going and then coming back to 1 so uh, also you can see here that this is the answer this is our sub array and the index value is 1 and the end index value is 6 so that is what it is represented in the graph also 
so that is why i was using hash map because it is not always always the case that we'll start from zero and we'll end end on zero so that is why keeping a count in the hash map is necessary and i'll quickly do it now in the coding part okay so let's jump on to that okay so just let's code it and solve it so i'll start coding now uh, first of all i'll check if now start okay so if the length of the given array is 0 or 1 so there will be no contiguous subarray with equal number of 0 and 1 because 0 and 1 are two numbers and if the length will be smaller than that then of course there will not be any contiguous subarray after that we will define the hash map okay and that i have discussed in the explanation part and i'm declaring that only hash map okay after that initially before iterating the array the value of count is zero at the index minus one okay so i have entered that in the hash map here now after this we'll take a variable count okay that we will increment when we encounter the value one and decrement when we encounter the value zero and also the answer that is length okay and that is also i'm going to increment it to zero only now the comes iteration part so the loop <clears throat> and at last what I will return is the length only so I am writing that but, uh, right now only ok now the uh, part that I am going to inside loop what I have to do if suppose um, dot i equal equal 0 if we encounter 0 what we are doing we are simply decrementing the value of count else if the value is 1 so incrementing the value of count okay and after incrementing the decrementing the value we were looking if this count value already exists in the hash map or not so suppose the value doesn't exist uh, okay uh, the value is not there in the hash map so not i have placed or not that means that the current value of count has not been entered yet at, uh, in the hash map so what we are doing we are simply putting it in the hash map the count right okay and the value of uh, the count will be entered with the index okay else if if the value of count was already in the hash map what we were doing we were assigning the value of length so length so length will be at of maximum of length comma the current value of the index minus the initial uh, value of the index okay so how i'm going to extract that value i will don't get it it counts okay so that is what i explained in the explanation part also this is what i'm doing just let's go through the code once again if the length of the given array is zero or one then the answer will always be zero after that i have defined a hash map for storing the count and index okay and i have initialized the value zero when uh, we haven't started iterating the array yet okay the value of count is zero and then we have to get count and the length will is our answer and i have iterated through the array and if uh, we found zero i have simply decremented the value of count if we have found 
the value to be 1 I have incremented count and after that I have checked whether the count already exists in the hash map or not and if it uh, it if it is unique then I simply added it or if it already exists then I have given the value to length okay and that is how we are going to do it so let us just run it accepted now let's just submit it okay so submit uh, submitted successfully and I want to say this that such questions are uh, very good you know for spending your time because I personally feel that such questions help you develop uh, thinking ability and it really helps you develop the problem solving skills and I will suggest uh, you all to solve such problems other than spending time on uh, problems that are you know mentioned in one page and you spend a lot of time reading that problem and once you get it it's like almost hours and hours you have spent only just on reading and going through the problem so such problems are very helpful as we understand it in one line but the implementation part is hard so that's how we learn so it was a good problem and I see you in the next video.